And this exclusive on the front page of the Australian newspaper, I reckon we'll get a fair uh, run tomorrow. We'll grow some legs, as we say. It's an exclusive by the workplace editor Ewan Hannan. Cops and fireys head the union pay list. Emergency service union leaders are the country's highest paid unionists and more than 20 CFMEU officials earn more than $220,000 a year, exceeding the pay of ACTU Secretary Sally McManus and President Michelle O'Neill. I mean, Pack, that, pack these, these stories are always a bit of a giggle because it's like the what do the ABC presenters and reporters earn because they're on the public purse. Mm. But this, this, is really, this is really extraordinary money that we're talking about, isn't it? Mm. Uh, absolutely extraordinary money, and this is not so much uh, the public first. This is uh, the, uh, the 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 funding that members of these unions contribute to these unions, and uh, essentially uh, pay these uh, exorbitant salaries uh, to these people. And at the same time, you've got uh, union membership falling. So you do wonder where all of this uh, money is uh, coming from. Uh, but you know, you you do always hear these stories, and. Uh, it is, it is quite interesting to see where... Me I think the broader story here is the where is union, mum where is union member money That's going? It. And clearly That's it's it. going into these exorbitant salaries. So people are obviously part of these unions and hoping that the union represents, re represents them at an industrial level to obviously get them higher pay, but then looks as though they're getting that higher pay for themselves. And no wonder Th there's also this lack of interest of, of being part yeah. of a union these days. That's absolutely right. I mean, Jim, this this is this is the the country's highest paid union leader, is United Firefighters Union Secretary Peter Marshall, who, according to the Australian, whose remuneration is four hundred nineteen thousand six hundred ninety seven dollars plus eight thousand five hundred in a car and income protection uh, allowance. Uh, it's believed to be double the amount paid to Sally McManus. That, right. That's close to what the PM earns, isn't it? It is getting up there. It's an obscene amount of money, and it gives new meaning to the phrase "looking after the worker." I mean, they certainly are. <laughs> <laughs> they certainly are looking after themselves, and mm. it's a wonder the workers don't revolt. The actual, you know, the unionists who pay their their fees. The uh, proletariat. Yeah, the pro. <laughs> yeah, the proles. That's right. <laughs> uh, it just amazes me that they uh, pay themselves. Let's face it, they pay themselves mm. this kind of money. Staggering. Caroline, I'm going I'm to give you the last word on this because I know you'll have something to say about it. All I'm wondering is whether any of these guys put their hands up during the election campaign when the ALP was talking about the top end of town. <laughs> oh, and, very good point. Yes. And, and, I very think, good. and I think um, the point that Mike made at the beginning was a really good point. Other members getting value here. And yes. the only way that you are seeing these sorts of salaries pale into insignificance is next to the fines that the CFMEU are paying to the federal court. Quite right, mm. quite right. Or trying to avoid paying to the federal, federal court. court. All that.